Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and still with our coverage of the fourth edition of the World Youth Forum being held in Sharm el-Sheikh. And on this event and its significance, we're glad to be joined here live at the studio by Dr. Ahmed Eddin Adli, chairperson of the Egyptian Sustainable Development Forum. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Ahmed, uh, of course, today uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi attended a very important session uh, with regards to climate change. Uh, how do you see the significance of this session and how do you see the importance of engaging youth from around the globe and creating this kind of awareness among the youth with regards to climate uh, change and its repercussions? Uh, first of all, uh, the forum comes immediately as if the first I would say a uh, large event that is uh, organized uh, in Egypt with this uh, size of participation. Immediately after uh, the announcement of uh, Egypt hosting on behalf of Africa the, COP, the climate change COP27 in Sharm el-Sheikh next November. Yes. So uh, I think it was uh, very logic to have in the, uh, in the agenda of the forum uh, uh, a special session uh, on the way from Glasgow to, uh, to Sharm el-Sheikh. Mm -hmm. uh, not only to be attended by uh, uh, His Excellency the President, uh, Fatah Sisi, but also uh, to have uh, the, uh, the keynote speaker in the session mm -hmm. is Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, the, the Prime Minister of yes. Egypt, which uh, in his capacity, I think, as he is the, the head of the National Committee for the Preparation Mm -hmm. of the COP27. So this, the significance is very important that uh, Egypt is giving the, uh, the preparation for the COP27 uh, uh, a very high priority at, and at, the, at the policy level, at the decision-making level, as well as uh, the importance of engaging the young people, not only from Egypt, but globally, to understand how Egypt is taking the issue of climate change uh, seriously, and what's the role that the, the youth can play, especially from the countries where we need their, you know, um, uh, I would say changing in the, in the way they are uh, dealing with the issue of climate, especially when it comes to mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, the rich industrialized countries, the, the ones that are in charge of the problem, and they are, uh, are asked to take their uh, lead or their uh, share in um, uh, uh, meeting the, the challenges and meeting also the needs mm -hmm. of uh, achieving the, the overall objective of the Paris Agreement, which is the one and a half uh, degrees, and also the, the, to, to support the uh, Africa continent for uh, its of efforts on the adaptation. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, here is the significance uh, how the, the COP is important for uh, the Egyptians and also how the, the role of uh, the young people is very crucial uh, mm -hmm. at this point, especially that we are talking only about less than uh, 10 months from now until uh, the COP uh, is, uh, is held in, uh, in Sharm el-Sheikh in November 2022. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, of course, uh, the uh, summit that uh, will be held, uh, the, uh, will be, uh, how will it be the upcoming summit built on the outcomes of COP26 in uh, Glasgow, Scotland? And uh, of course, you mentioned also a, a national initiative that will be taking place uh, from the youth and universities to support the upcoming summit. Would you tell us more about this initiative? Yes, the initiative that we were talking about before we got uh, on air. Yes. Uh, um, um, in my capacity as uh, the chairperson of uh, one of the civil society organizations in the country, the Egyptian Sustainable Development Forum, uh, and in cooperation also with the, uh, one of the oldest NGOs in Egypt, the Arab Office for Youth and Environment, uh, we are launching uh, uh, this month uh, an initiative that will try through this initiative. We want to engage all Egyptians. The whole idea is that Egypt, our country, Baladna, is hosting the, uh, 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 the COP27. Yes. So if every one of the Egyptians will start thinking about that he is the host, not the government, not the president of the ICC himself, but it's everyone. Yes. That we, everyone is hosting. But what do you mean by hosting? If I am meeting someone at my home, I try to show him everything good about my home. 
so this is what we are trying to do. We want to show everyone in this initiative who, how could everyone in this country, uh, men, women, uh, girls, boys, uh, uh, decision makers, uh, 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 normal individuals, uh, how every one of, uh, of the, the Egyptians could become part of the preparations for the hosting. Yes. Uh, which, in, in, in this case, we are trying to hit one more than one target. First, that we tell the people what the COP is about. Mm -hmm. Maybe they hear about it in the media, but they don't really understand. I ask people sometimes, uh, you know, uh, when I'm going to do and buy anything, I ask the, the people there, do you know what the COP is about? They say, oh, we heard about it, but we don't know what about it. Mm -hmm. So we want to tell the people, universities, schools, uh, governorates, uh, uh, NGOs, uh, civil society organizations, women groups, youth groups. Uh, we want to tell them what is the COP is about, why we have the COP, and what's the issue of climate change. Mm -hmm. Creating some sort of awareness, awareness among the youth in universities and uh, exactly. uh, in, in different uh, but outlets. The, yes, but yes. at the same time, we want to tell everyone that all of us are responsible for the change. Mm -hmm. So it's not only the project that we heard about them from uh, His Excellency, the Prime Minister today, the mega project that we have in Egypt uh, to, uh, in responding to the climate change challenges. But there is also a role for everyone mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. How can we, what, what can we do at home to face the challenge and also to be part of the climate action that mm -hmm. we have to do at the country level? So the whole idea of the initiative is that Baladna تستضيف قمة المناخ السبعة وعشرين. Our country hosts the the coming COP, the Climate Change COP 27, and that every one of the Egyptians is welcoming and also is offering uh, 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 his or her uh, support to the to the climate action. Yes, well, uh, sir, just allow me to go to this interview on the sidelines of the World Youth Forum. Nile TV's correspondent Noha Ala held the following interview with uh, Al Amin. Is Musa CEO in Nigeria? Let's have a closer look. شباب العالم So uh, please uh, can you uh, introduce yourself Okay my name is Alamin Isag I am from Nigeria I studied mechanical engineering from Amadou Bello University and I currently run my postgraduate di diploma at Nigerian University of Technology and Management. Uh, yes. Can you talk about your participation in this forum? Okay, I think it's a very, very nice experience. This is my second time here, but I think the improvement has been massive. I really love the way um, the organizers are trying to create, give everyone a sense of belonging here because everyone is important here. So I really love that kind of energy, and I think Egypt is the home for everybody. And what, is, uh, what are the differences between uh, the next, next edition and this edition? The, the pre you mean the previous edition? Okay, so I think, okay, so uh, there's a lot of improvements in terms of um, the participants and in terms of, um, for example, uh, the last time I was here, I was at the labs, that was for startups. So um, this year also, I, I met a couple of different businesses which are doing really, really well. Uh, and I met some of my friends again that we, 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 we did um, the previous one. And again, um, like the, the whole organization is just so, so very nice. Yes. Okay, so uh, my organization, uh, we are still doing well. We are still doing fine. And um, some partners that we partnered with um, recently, like when we came here before, we are still um, in touch with them and then we are still helping each other. We're still partnering, we're still doing things together. So I think it's a very great platform for entrepreneurs and youths. Yes, you. you're welcome, thank you.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and still continuing our coverage of the fourth edition of the World Youth Forum, and still with my guest, Dr. Ahmadi Din Adli. Sir, uh, of course, continuing our discussion on the climate change session that took place today, and John Kerry, uh, he is uh, the U.S. envoy for climate change, he made some comments uh, during the session today. Uh, uh, what's your, he thanked, of course, President Sisi on his interest in climate change, and for uh, holding the upcoming uh, conference on climate change COP27. So uh, how, what's your take on that, sir? John Kerry, uh, of course, um, he, he holds a very important uh, position as an envoy for the USA. Uh, we are very happy to hear from him, his good uh, and uh, support remarks to uh, uh, the Egyptian government and to our leader, uh, President Sisi. But we need from uh, John Kerry, you know, to take uh, the lead as, uh, as uh, you know, the USA uh, uh, responsibility uh, to uh, really put, you know, the two things that we have been talking about for so many years and we don't find solutions for them, the climate finance. We need to have a, a very clear commitment, not only commitment on paper, we want the commitment to be real. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it has been already uh, mentioned in Paris that there will be an, a, an average of $100 billion ev every year mm -hmm. to support the climate uh, adaptation and uh, um, activities that has to be done in Africa. But mm -hmm. nothing happened. And I think the USA uh, has a role uh, to play, which is, in, in the first place, it's more of uh, an ethical uh, issue, because if the United States has has gained uh, uh, the wealth and the the knowledge and uh, everything they gained out of you know the experience and also out of the technology that they have, uh, and also based on the type of fuel that they have been using, mm -hmm. and they are responsible for almost a quarter of uh, the amount of emissions that are you know the the reason uh, for the climate uh, change uh, mm -hmm. uh, globally. I think they have the, now to take the responsibility to bring this into uh, financing to support uh, countries in Africa and the continent to be able to be adapted to the climate change. Mm -hmm. And the second point, again, is uh, with the financing is also the technology and, uh, and uh, 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 knowledge. Uh, because without the, you know, having this kind of global transparency and global uh, partnership, we are not going to, it will be only words on paper. Mm -hmm. And I think this is also the challenge that uh, President Sisi has put um, as one of the main achievements to get out of the COP27 mm -hmm. is to have their very clear commitment coming. And this, I think, the, the role of the Egyptian diplomacy that we will have to play. So thanks uh, very much to John Kerry and for his nice uh, remark. But we want this to be uh, interpreted into uh, actions uh, to support the, the African people uh, and to support this continent. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, sir, uh, several topics, of course, will be discussed uh, in addition to climate change, uh, entrepreneurship, uh, employment. How do you see the significance of the topics being discussed at the conference? Uh, I, I was really um, uh, impressed with the agenda of the, 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 the meeting, the workshops, uh, the panels. Uh, the different activities, the work, the um, uh, the labs, the youth labs that they have organi they are organizing, mm -hmm. and I think what uh, uh, the the young man from uh, from Nigeria, when he said that you know this is his second uh, uh, visit or second uh, 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 trip to her, to the to the forum, so it, you know he found that there is an impressive improvement in in the in the uh, organization and also in the um, uh, 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 discussions and also the t t topics and issues to be discussed. Mm -hmm. So I think um, I, I really see it as a very important uh, uh, opportunity for our young people. And I would say from here, this is another initiative that just I'm putting it now without any preparation, that I think what the sessions that we had for, for this uh, uh, forum, this has to be taken after the forum and to be used as a materials for the awareness raising for our young people because if even we have 
I don't know how many thousands of young people are there, but still we have millions of young people in Egypt mm -hmm. that we want them to learn and to get the same opportunity that some young people were lucky to have it in mm -hmm. Sharm el-Sheikh during uh, uh, the last or during these days. So I think uh, we need to take the, you know, these sessions and to d use them as a material of awareness raising and capacity development for our young people in universities. Mm -hmm. And we should also get into the discussion about this. It's not only to listen, yeah. it's also to, 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 to have this dynamic discussion and interaction between our young people and about the topics. This, I think, will get more uh, benefit and more fruits mm -hmm. that we can uh, have out of the forum, not only building on the, the number of people that were able to go there, but for the many uh, millions that could gain out of, uh, out of this forum. Right, uh, sir, allow me to go to this interview. On the sidelines of the World Youth Forum, Nile TV's correspondent Hany Saif held the following interview with Russian science journalist Lydia Georgieva and Russian entrepreneur Vera Kemankesia. Let's have a closer look. Ladies and gentlemen, in the World Youth Forum, uh, we're joined here with uh, Viera and Lydia. Viera is an entrepreneur from Russia, and also Lydia is a science journalist. Uh, Viera, first of all, welcome to Egypt. Welcome to the World Youth Forum. Now, one of the topics that is being discussed in the forum is startups and uh, entrepreneurship. Now, what sort of entrepreneurship you're uh, your leading in Russia and are the same difficulties applied in Russia are applying here in Egypt? Uh, thank you very much for your question. Um, uh, I am a, a director of my own language center in Russia. Um, I teach English, Turkish and Spanish. Um, and uh, of course it's, uh, it was difficult uh, for the first time but our government, our government helps us anyway. Uh, uh, last uh, year, I took a grant for my business, and I'm very happy yes. <laughs> for that. Definitely. Uh, Lydia, now, you're a science journalist. What sort of what sort of topics have you been covering over the past couple of years during the pandemic? Has it been quite a different challenge than what you've been used to even before? Uh, I report, I write about science like medicine, biotechnology, physics, education, but last time biotechnology and medicine are the most important and most famous field right now. You know about it. It's about Corona. And it's really necessary right now to write by easy language for um, all of the people, all of the world, how to fight with Corona, what to do, what must we uh, do with Corona right now, how to deal with it. And in, in your coverage of uh, the science and the medicinal sector, how far do you think or how long do you think it will take for the rest of the world to get out of this pandemic? Uh, you know, it's complicated to make a decision or resolution about it. I hope it will, it will be not finished maybe right now or maybe uh, one year later, but maybe it will be easily for us. Not like it was in 2020, because in 2020 I was stopped in Europe, in Germany, in the part of Germany that was more infected, and nobody knew what to do. Nobody. Right now we know we can wear masks, we can be vaccinated, etc., etc. We have some drugs, medicine for this. Now we know. And I hope we will be together, we will stay together and do everything that scientists can offer us. 
Uh, now, Vera, it seems, especially in Egypt, that uh, startups and entrepreneurship is becoming the, the name of the game, as they say, and it's really uh, the number one sort of priority for the youth here in Egypt. Is it the same in Russia, and do you feel that the whole world is taking the uh, independent uh, business projects and entrepreneurship into the fast lane? Uh, frankly speaking, uh, I agree with you. Uh, this uh, uh, this uh, problem is around the world, um, and uh, I have uh, a new startup, and I need some help uh, not only in my country, because my startup uh, is international. Uh, I create uh, board educational games for children and adults uh, and I want uh, some help um, in Egypt maybe uh, to uh, produce these games around the world. <laughs> Viera, Lydia, thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure having you here in Egypt. Uh, repeat this. I'm, I'm thanking you for, uh, for your interview and it's a pleasure having you here in the World Youth Forum and in Egypt. Uh, of course, it's a pleasure, uh, especially for the first time. <laughs> Hopefully it's not going to be the last. Thank you, Lydia. Yeah, to be honest, uh, I had a dream to meet my sister here. I didn't see her three years because of Corona. But, um, so hopefully I will meet your next forum. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, Egypt also brings the family back together again, as you've just heard with Lydia. Obviously, people from all around the world, no matter where you're from, and, um, and people here in Egypt, we all share the same interests, we all share the same passions, and we're all concerned with the same topics. Thank you for joining us. مسرح شباب العالم Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still with my guest live here at the studio, Dr. Ahmed Adli. Uh, sir, uh, President Sisi stressed at the forum that humanity should end disputes and communicate despite being different. How do you see the significance of President Sisi's participation uh, in uh, this forum and in youth forums in general and engaging in a direct dialogue with the youth? Um, it has many significance, actually. Um, uh, first of all, um, uh, the forum has, uh, has become like an international event that, uh, you know, people uh, uh, are following from one year to another. Uh, with all the challenges that we are facing, at least in the, in the last few weeks with the pandemic, uh, Egypt uh, is very committed to organize and to, you know, um, uh, have the meeting happening uh, lively and uh, physically. Uh, the presence of uh, President Sisi when he takes from his time uh, uh, this number of days and put uh, the, uh, you know, the youth on top of his uh, agenda. It's also another message to the people, uh, not only in Egypt but everywhere, that uh, uh, youth are uh, important for the development globally and we heard in the opening messages coming from the different organizations and heads of uh, international organizations. Uh, also uh, 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 taking this opportunity to discuss some of the issues that uh, sometimes in there, there are a lot of debates about them especially when it comes to human rights and uh, uh, and, and, uh, and other political issues. So it was also an opportunity to give the messages uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a very uh, uh, honest way and also in a very uh, 
uh, diplomatic way about how we are, how Egypt looks, uh, you know, to different topics um, in, in a very, uh, uh, you know, comprehensive way. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, all, all these are, are messages and also uh, significant to uh, uh, the why Egypt is hosting the forum, why Egypt is investing in the forum, why Egypt is insisting uh, to have the forum. And now we are in the fourth edition, and I'm sure every year we'll have a new edition. And this will also make uh, uh, young people understand that you know they have they have a very important piece of the cake mm -hmm. that we in development, and they have to be part of designing it and implementing it as well. Sure. Uh, well, dear viewers, uh, let's uh, check out this report on the fourth edition of the World Youth Forum. Let's have a closer look. The Red Sea Resort City of Sharm el-Sheikh is currently hosting the fourth edition of the World Youth Forum, which gathers youth from around the globe to review a range and number of topics, including a very important one, which is the future of energy and how to confront the repercussions of climate change. Sharm el-Sheikh is slated to host the conference of the parties or COP27 next November and the city has acquired an environmental importance, especially after COP26, which took place in Glasgow, Scotland, last November. The COP summit is considered the largest and most important international event that the world witnesses every year, during which delegations of member states to the convention, the Kyoto Protocol and the Paris Climate Agreement meet to discuss, consult and negotiate contentious issues within the framework of the implementation of international agreements related to climate change. About 10,000 people participate in the event which includes high-level meetings in which countries are represented at the level of heads of state and prime ministers. Egypt's hosting of COP27 reflects international communities recognition of Egyptian efforts in preserving the environment in addition to Cairo's contribution to fighting climate change. In the past, Egypt has achieved successes in many development fields in order to preserve the environment. The Supreme Council for Climate Change was formed under the chairmanship of the Prime Minister and membership of relevant ministries and institutional entities were formed within each ministry to deal with issues of climate change. The state has also paid great attention to the development of power generation projects from renewable and clean sources, as well as to the rationalization and improvement of energy efficiency activities. Egypt has paid attention as well to the climate finance file as many national banks have begun allocating a financial path for projects with environmental outcomes. The Ministry of Environment, in cooperation with Ministry of Planning, has issued environmental sustainability standards. Moreover, Egypt is working on its first national climate change strategy, a national plan for climate change adaptation, as well as updating the NDC's report. back ladies and gentlemen and still continuing our coverage of the fourth edition of the World Youth Forum. Uh, Dr. Ahmed, uh, how far do you think such a forum creates a platform for the youth from uh, different countries, from 196 countries, uh, youth are attending the conference. Uh, how far does this create a platform for the youth uh, to exchange their experiences, to create a bond among the youth from different countries, uh, change experiences and uh, uh, knowing more about uh, different cultures? The forum um, facilitates this kind of uh, platform in two ways. Number one, 
by providing the resources and the, the, the venue for the young people to meet. Uh, but of course, they have to be also, uh, they have to take, uh, you know, their role in the, in the process. Um, uh, I remember when I was young, you know, every time I go to any conference, I establish my network of people. I have learned a lot of things. Um, uh, when I attend meetings, I, I'm always carrying with me, every time I leave any event, I carry with me, you know, information about uh, who I've met with and how we communicate with and so on. It was more difficult, much more difficult, you know, in the, in the past, 30 years ago. Now, when we are talking about, you know, platform here in Egypt, they are meeting physically, but they could be in meeting, uh, you know, virtually forever. So what I, 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 I expect out of the, the forum that the people who attended the different workshops and they have, they have shown their uh, interest in some of the topics, they have to continue the, the, the dialogue among themselves. They have to continue this kind of network. I would say that the, this platform could initiate many platforms on the different topics, on the different angles of the, of the forum, and they have to continue on doing this. And then when they meet in the fifth edition, they come with the results of what they have done, mm -hmm. what, how they, they were able agents of a change in their countries. Because we are building the, the youth for themselves, you know, to become uh, um, uh, responsible, to be part of the development process in their countries. But they have also to go back and be part of the change that they want <coughs> to do and also to the improvement that uh, they have to see in their countries. Mm -hmm. So the platform is, is happening for a number of days in Egypt, but it has to continue mm -hmm. after that. And the young people in this case, they have the responsibility to keep this link going on, not only on chatting on the Facebook and saying hi and uh, we miss Egypt and we, we would like to meet again, but on the topics that you, they were engaged uh, in and how they could become, as I said, agents uh, uh, for change in, in, the, in the globe, not only in their countries, but globally. Mm -hmm. Well, I would like to thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ahmed Dean Adli, Chairperson of the Egyptian Sustainable Development Forum. Many thanks for your insights, sir. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Uh, dear viewers, uh, that wraps up uh, this uh, special edition covering the fourth edition of the World Youth Forum being held in the Red Sea Resort city of uh, Sharm el Sheikh. And I'll leave you now with uh, this interview conducted by Nile TV's correspondent uh, Noha Ali with uh, Harry Manta from Ghana. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm um, Harry uh, Mante from Ghana, the um, uh, CEO of um, Philomat Consort in Ghana. Yeah. Okay, um, so I came as a, a delegate um, to participate in the World Youth Forum, and um, so far, uh, what I have gone through, um, the sections, the workshops that we've gone through, I see to be awesome. Yeah. This is your first time in Egypt? Yes, this is my first time. And, uh, what do you think? Uh, the, the, our country? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, you know, um, a very friendly um, country where uh, I have had the opportunity to uh, meet a lot of people. Yeah, um, the people here are awesome, uh, very warm, uh, welcoming. I really love this place. In fact, I would say they've really done very, very well because I'm um, uh, gathering uh, a lot of people from around the world uh, for such a conference. They've really, really done very well, and I see everything on point. So, uh, yeah, um, kudos to them. They've done very, very well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.